Have you ever considered how your daily habits shape your life and your future? Just as atoms are the building blocks of the universe, atomic habits are the tiny actions that form the architecture of our lives. These small habits, like brushing your teeth or making your bed, may seem inconsequential. Yet, when compounded over time, they can lead to significant changes. Consider this. If you were to improve by just 1% each day, you'd end up nearly 37 times better by the end of a year. That's the power of the compounding effect. Similarly, neglecting these tiny habits or cultivating negative ones can lead to a downward spiral. So the magic is not in making one massive change overnight. It's about consistently making small changes. It's about turning these atomic habits into powerful routines that shape your life. Remember, it's not about making one big change, but about making a series of small changes consistently. But how do habits work? What's the science behind them? Let's dive into the concept of the habit loop. This fascinating process is comprised of four key steps, the cue, the craving, the response, and the reward. First, the cue. This is the trigger that initiates the habit. It's the smell of fresh coffee that makes you want a cup, or the chime of a notification that prompts you to check your phone. Next comes the craving. This is your desire to act on the cue. You want that cup of coffee or to see who's texted you. The third step is the response. This is your action. You drink the coffee, you check your text. Finally, the reward. This is what makes the habit stick. The satisfaction of sipping that coffee, the relief of answering that text. Understanding this loop is crucial. It's how you can break bad habits and form beneficial ones. By understanding the habit loop, you can hack your own behavior and direct it towards positive outcomes. So, how can we make good habits more attractive and bad habits less so? Well, one way is through a technique called habit stacking. This involves linking a new, desirable habit to an existing one. For instance, if you already have a habit of drinking a cup of coffee in the morning, you could stack a new habit of meditating for five minutes right after. The existing habit serves as a cue for the new one, making it easier to remember and more appealing to perform. Another strategy is temptation bundling, which pairs a habit you need to do with one you want to do. Let's say you enjoy listening to podcasts but need to exercise more. Why not combine the two? Listen to your favorite podcast while jogging. You'll look forward to running because it's coupled with something enjoyable. Think of these techniques as a way to trick your brain into wanting to perform beneficial habits. Remember, the key is to make the habits that benefit you more appealing than the ones that don't. Did you know your surroundings play a significant role in shaping your habits? It's true. The environment we inhabit on a daily basis has a profound influence on our behavior, often molding our habits without us even realizing it. For instance, if you're surrounded by junk food, it's going to be much harder to stick to a healthy eating habit. But here's the good news. We can harness this environmental influence to our advantage. By consciously redesigning our environment, we can make it easier to adopt good habits and harder to fall into bad ones. Imagine how much easier it would be to start reading more if you always have a book within arm's reach or to eat healthier if your pantry is filled with nutritious food. So if you've been struggling to form a new habit, consider looking around you. If you want to change your habits, sometimes, you need to change your environment first. Did you ever think about the role your identity plays in your habits? It's fascinating, isn't it? The way we see ourselves, our self-identity, is deeply intertwined with our habits. Whether it's being a morning person, an avid reader, or a fitness enthusiast, our habits form an integral part of our identity. But here's the kicker, the power of identity-based habits. When we adopt habits that align with our desired self-image, we're more likely to stick with them. For instance, if you see yourself as a health-conscious individual, you're more likely to sustain habits like regular exercise or healthy eating. Yet the real magic starts to happen when we shift our focus from the habits themselves to the identity we wish to cultivate. By changing our self-image, we can indeed adopt new habits. So remember this, in the end, it's not just about what you want to achieve, but about who you want to become.